In our last adventure, we were looking at editing our shell history, and we looked at a simple for loop. What would we do if the loop contained hundreds of entries? It is simple enough to create a file with entries that comes from some output and then use cat to display them. So for instance, if I do an ls and I have these files and I output that, oh, that would have been cute. I output that to a file. Then if I cat that file, I have this list. Well, except for this last entry, which I don't like. So let's say you had gotten some list and you needed to, to massage it. Maybe in our case, we don't want to delete all the files. We can edit this file and we can say, well, I don't want to get rid of that one. I don't want to get rid of that one. I don't want to get rid of any of these. So now I have this file that looks the way I want it to look. Now I could say for i in backtick cat ls dot out backtick do what I want to do I want to rm that file rm dollar i done ls they're gone well that is nice but suppose I do not want to create and edit some file let's say I just know that I want to create files uh, 0 through 100 how could I do that well, we could say x equals 0. Ooh, helps if I am on the right screen. x equals 0. Echo dollar x. x is equal to 0. So now I can say while double quote dollar x is less than or equal to 25. I'm going to do uh, touch dollar x. And I'm going to let x equal dollar x plus one. Done. Ls. Well, I guess in my case I should have done file. So that's nice. I say escape k. I can rm those guys. What will happen here? Because he thinks x is equal to 25, right? So nothing happened. So we need to remember to say x is equal to 0. And now we try. So now let's try that again, only this time I'm going to say x is equal to 0. Touch file x ls. Now I've got all these files. But I said I wanted to go to 100. So I'm going to say x is equal to 0. I'm going to touch, well, first I'm going to say less than 100. And I'll touch all those files, do an ls. And now I want to get rid of all those files. So again, I've got to do x equals 0. And I'm going to say rm. I can hear those voices in my head saying, Rob, how did you make those edits on the command line? I understand, I understand escape K, an L to go right, an H to go left, but how did you make those changes on the command line? Just like in VI, again, helps if you're on the right screen, you can do L to go right, you can do H to go right, left, but let's say I want to delete something. X, X will delete it. I to insert something. Escape. And now I can hit enter. Well, again, it helps if I do x equals 0. Escape k, 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 boom, ls. Now that you've seen some of the things you can do with the corn shell, you should have no desire to go back to the bash shell.